hundreds of millions of dollars in financing rounds, seven-figure sales deals in your region, billions of dollars of market valuation. The next hot startup that promises to make you rich in just a few years wants you. You've probably heard this before from an eager headhunter pitching you a job opening. If you're a bit like me, you don't take these words at face value and you'd like to do your own research about the company in question. Yes, you are now at the receiving end of a sales pitch and you need to do your homework. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to research a company and understand if this is a job opportunity you should pursue. Stay tuned. Hi, this is the Better Pre-Sales YouTube channel. My name is Sasha. I'm working as a solutions engineer. And on this channel, I'm sharing my experiences on how to become a better solutions engineer. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. There's a wealth of information online about almost any company, even if it's just a tiny startup, which is very, very far away from an IPO. When I do the research about a company, what I usually use are two websites, Crunchbase and LinkedIn. And let's get right into it. To research a company on LinkedIn, what you need to do is find it using the search box. Once you're there, you'll see immediately a couple of interesting details, such as the number of employees. And from my own experience, this is a pretty accurate number. Next, you want to expand the About section and see some more details, for instance, the year of founding of the company and where they're based off currently. The next thing I want to understand is how much money has the company raised, meaning are they going to run out of money and fire their sales force? And this I can see that it's provided by the information gathered from the Crunchbase website. So I'm going to click on that link, see more info, which will take me to Crunchbase directly. And here I can see that the number of employees is between 50 and 100. This is in line with uh, what we've seen on LinkedIn. And we also see that the company has had two financing rounds, A and B, so far, and they've raised $45 million so far. The next thing I want to look into is who are the companies investing into this startup? Why? Well, it's very simple. If there are some reputable investors with a proven track record, that indicates to me that this company has a unique product and that their business is really about to take off. So I will click on the investors button and I'll get to a list of all the companies that have put money into this startup. And there are some names I recognize, but I'm especially interested in the lead investor because that's the company that put most money and probably is most interested in the future of this startup. So I'd like to know what's their track record. I'm going to go ahead and click on the investor's name and now I'm seeing details about this investor in particular and they have a lot of investments, a lot of projects. What I want to know here is have they invested successfully into some companies I've heard of previously? And what I want to look into specifically are the exits. And in the exits, I see that they've been involved with some very, very big names. And this gives me a lot of confidence. After having learned that there are some really reputable investors putting money into this startup, which is a confident boost for me, I want to understand more about the startup itself. I want to look into the employment dynamics. How do we do that? I will click on the Insights tab. And yes, this is a LinkedIn Premium feature. You have to pay for the subscription to LinkedIn Premium, but it gives you some really, really cool possibilities to research companies. And what we can see here is the employee count growth, the headcount growth over time. This is a small and very dynamically growing startup. So these numbers are no wonder. They have grown 72% in the last, last six months and they've grown a total of 180% in the last 12 months. Considering they've been only founded three years ago, this is perfectly normal. So another green flag here. Now we can scroll down to see the headcount growth by function. For instance, if you look at the sales, they've been growing sales 
a lot, which is another good sign. It is in line with the fact that they are offering you a job, meaning they are expanding further. Very good sign. Scrolling further down, we can see the exact number of new employees per month. Again, it's going up a good sign. We'll have a look at a more mature company. This is a public company. Let's see what the insights show us. Here you can see a more stable growth trend. This is perfectly in line with a company that's listed and that's now growing organically. Scrolling down to see the headcount by functions, we can see that they are hiring quite a lot of people in sales. This is again a normal situation for such a company, it just means there's some churn. And scrolling further down, we can see that they've been hiring a lot of people the last couple quarters, which means they're forecasting a really good next fiscal year and they're preparing for that. A really good sign. So we've researched the money and the investors in this startup. We've looked at the hiring dynamics. So far, all green flags. Now what we want to do in the next step is talk to someone inside the company who is not a recruiter or who is not biased towards hiring you. So you want to talk to people you know from before that are currently working there. This is the best way to get some inside information about the company. If you don't know anyone there, that's not a tragedy. You can click on the people tab and you'll see all employees as LinkedIn knows it. And you can go ahead and contact you know, get linked in with some of these people, even, you know, maybe even a co-founder or a CTO for a small startup, they would still be interested in who they are hiring as the sales force. And they will most likely be very, very open to talking to you and giving you some insight information on how the company is actually doing. And finally, let's summarize. There are two tools you're going to be using to research a company. And there are four steps that you have to do. The first step is understand the company's finances by looking at the series of financing, by looking at who the investors are, how reputable they are, and what's their track record. The next step to do is look at the company's headcount growth dynamics. Is it going up or going down? Going down would be a pretty bad sign. But if it's going up for a startup, it, the numbers should be really in the 100% range, range per every six months. For a more established company, you can expect significantly smaller numbers. You've understood the company's finances, the headcount growth dynamics, and now you want to go ahead and contact people that you know from before that are now working at this company to get some insider information. And finally, even if you don't have anyone working there, go ahead and find employees, current employees of the company connect with them on LinkedIn and for smaller startups, this can be really higher ups like CTOs or even CEOs. They would likely be willing to talk to if they're hiring you as a first pre-sales person in the region. So don't be shy, approach them, approach anyone and just ask for insider information. Just ask for some information about a company that's relevant to you and your job. These tools, are a game changer for anyone that wants to understand their potential next employer. Learn how to use these tools and apply these skills the next time a handhunter pitches you a job. I hope you liked this video and I would really appreciate the feedback, whether it's a like or a dislike. And please do let me know in the comment section what you thought about this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Better Pre-Sales YouTube channel for more content like this. Stay tuned and stay healthy.